Good afternoon. Welcome, everybody. Uh, pursuant to provisions of Title II of Article 9 of the New York State Election Law, specified Section 9 204 9 210 and 9 212, I now call the meeting of the Board of Canvases in the City of New York to order for the purpose of certifying and re canvassing the votes cast on May 5th. 2015 in the special election conducted within the city of New York a member of the United States House of Representatives in the 11th Congressional District and, and member of the New York State Assembly in District 43 of the Assembly District. I would now ask each commissioner and staff member present to identify them himself or herself for the record. Starting to my left, Michael Rendino, Rose County. Simon Schmidt, Republican. Frederick Humane, Manhattan Republican. Alan Schilke, Manhattan Democrat. John Plateau, Kings, Democrat. Marie Costello, Richmond Democrat. Jose Roger King, Democrat. Bianca Perez, Bronx Democrat, Central Ten. And Mr. Wright is on the way down. John Sandra, Deputy Executive Director. Pamela Parsons, Administrative Manager. Kenneth Moulton, Council to Commissioner. Stephen Dankberg, Council to Commissioner. Steve Richmond, General Counsel. Ralph Alcino, Deputy General Counsel. Fine. Roy Bowen Weaver, CRU. Troy Johnson, CRU. Okay. Uh, to serve as the other Republican member of the Canvas Board, I hereby designate the Republican Commissioner for the respective counties. Commissioner Simon? Sure. Thank you. To serve with me as a multi county recap for the 11th Congressional District. I would also ask Secretary Perez to designate a Democratic Commissioner for the respective counties and the other Democratic Commissioner to serve with her for the multi county recap in the 11th Congressional Okay, I designate Commissioner Raujo. Chief Clerk and the Deputy Chief Clerk of Brooklyn and their staff have prepared and signed the return of canvas for the May 5th, 2015 special election conducted in the 11th Congressional and the 43rd Assembly District within Kings County. I would like, I would ask that they present themselves to the canvases board for review and approval. with respect to the return of cannabis that have been presented by the Brooklyn staff. Please identify yourself. I'm Diane Rudiano, the Chief Clerk in Brooklyn. Betty Ann Canizio, uh, Deputy Chief in Brooklyn. Do the Brooklyn Chief Clerk and Deputy Chief Clerk confirm that the results present are accurate and correct? Yes. Sir. Yes. Are there any discrepancies to the report to the board? No, sir. No. 
has the audit and voter verify audit records for both the polling site and central account scan is required by section 9-211 of New York State Election Law being successfully completed? Yes. yes. Based on that report, I would entertain a motion that the Board of Canvas certify the return of Canvas for the May 5th, 2015 special election conducted in Queens County. Kings County. Kings County. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Commissioner, that's Return of Canvas is prepared and submitted by the Brooklyn staff of the Board of Elections are adopted unanimously. Commissioners, as we always do, we'd like to give the credit where it's due, which is to our staff in Brooklyn, and we appreciate very much. Sometimes a small election is even more difficult to get through than a big election. We very much appreciate their hard work. We'd like to recognize the backup that we've received from all of the departments of the general office, but particularly thank executive management and Georgia and Pam for having taken off our shoulders the big job of the ITC, the intent to cancel mailing in Brooklyn, which amounted to over 100,000 letters. It was done here under Beth Casella's direction, I understand, by the phone bank and other uh, people here working at the general office. We very much appreciate it. It helped us a tremendous lot. And as we do the certification, we very much want to give them credit for taking all that work off our hands. And we thank our two Brooklyn commissioners. <laughs> thank you. Okay, uh, Richmond County. It is my understanding that the chief clerk and deputy chief clerk of Richmond and their staff have prepared and signed the return of canvas for May 5th. 2015 special election conducted for the member of Congress in the 11th Congressional District within Richmond County. I would ask that they present themselves to the canvassing board for review and approval. I will now ask for the record a series of questions with respect to the return of canvases that have been presented by the Staten Island staff. Please identify yourself. Anthony Androly, Deputy Chief Clerk. Lisa Satty, Administrative Associate. Thank you. Uh, do, do the Staten Island Chief Clerk and Deputy Chief Clerk, Clerk confirm that the results presented are accurate and correct? Yes. Yes. Are there any discrepancies to report to the board? No. No. Has the order to vote and verify the audit records for both the polling site and central count scan is required by Section 9-211 of the New York State Election Law have been successfully completed? Yes, it has. Yes. Based on that report, I would entertain a motion that the Board of Canvases certify the return of Canvas for the May 5th, 2015 special election conducted in Richmond County. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? All abstentions? The return of Canvas prepared and submitted by the Staten Island staff of the Board of Election is adopted unanimously. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, Mr. President, I sure. would like to take this opportunity to thank uh, the chief, the deputy, and all of the staff in Staten Island and in Brooklyn uh, for the uh, hard work, the diligent and the hard work that they performed for the special election uh, and uh, having it happen seamlessly. And we really appreciate that. We really are a service to uh, the city. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> it is my understanding. It, it is. It is my understanding that the candidate record unit has prepared and the recapitulation statement for of the return of canvas for the May 5th, 2015 special election conducted for members of Congress in the 11th congressional district in Richmond County and parts of Kings County. I would ask that the CRU coordinator, Troy Johnson, present that recap statement to the Canvas Board for review and approval. For the record, does the court, coordinator, coordination of the candidate, record unit, confirm that the results present, presented in the recap statement is accurate and correct 
application of the results just certified by the board of the respective counties. Yes. Based on that report, I would entertain a motion to approve and adopt the recap statement of the term of canvas for May 5th, 2015 <laughs> special election for the for the 11th congressional district, which is comprised of Richmond and parts of King County. Now so the motion shall move. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? All abstentions? The motion is adopted and the recap statement of return to canvas for the May 5th, 2015 special election for member of Congress in the 11th congressional district is adopted unanimously. Uh, I would like a motion to authorize the use of the commissioner's sig uh, signature stamps as appropriate for each statement in return to canvas. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? All abstentions? The motion is adopted. There be no further business to come before the Board of Canvases in the City of New York. I would now entertain a motion to adjourn this meeting of the Board of Canvas and convene the stated meeting of the commissioners of the, the Board of Elections of the City of New York. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? The motion is adopted. The Board of Canvas stands adjourned. Thank you, everyone. I would like now to call uh, the scheduled meeting for today. Uh, the uh, commission is starting from my left. Please introduce yourself. Good afternoon. Ron Pastorino, Richmond County Republican. Michael Rendino, Bronx County Republican. Simon Schmidt, Kings Republican. Frederick Humane, Manhattan Republican. Alan Schultz, Manhattan Democrat. John Flatow, Kings County Democrat. Marie Costello, Richmond Democrat. Bianca Perez, Secretary, Bronx County Democrat. Jeff Bernard, Bronx County Republican. Jeff Bernard, Bronx County Republican. Michael Ryan, Executive Director. John Chandel, Deputy Executive Director. Pamela Perkins, Administrative Manager. Georgia Pazamani, Operations Manager. Nina Pazmino, Director of Personnel. Kenneth Malkin, Council of Commissioners. Stephen Dankberg, Council of Commissioners. Steve Richmond, General Counsel. Rafael Smino, Deputy General Counsel. Okay. All right, the meeting of the Board of Canvases in the City of New York. That's over. Public part, uh, the minutes for, uh, for May 12th, 2015. All in favor? Second. Aye. Aye. All opposed? Carries. Michael J. Ryan, you here? Yes, I am. Uh, item number 3A on the agenda, uh, as I had indicated to the commissioners last week, that we were expecting to be formally uh, invited to the uh, to the testify at the last of what is expected to be the last of the executive budget hearings, uh, and there is a one-hour time slot allotted to us from 11:45 to 12:45 uh, on the uh, on June the second. Uh, so I'm just seeking formal approval from the commissioners to participate in that hearing process. I move that we participate in the hearing process try and get the appropriate appropriations from uh, both the city council and the office of budget and the mayor and everybody else that we need to get the money from. And I'm not sure if having the last day is good or bad. Hopefully there'll be a couple of dollars left over for the uh, efficient operation of elections. And we wish you uh, the best of luck in trying to shape the money tree. Thank you, and we have been uh, actively and dynamically uh, negotiating with the mayor's office with respect to uh, the upcoming uh, budget, and I expect that will be appropriately funded with the appropriate appropriation. Appropriate. <laughs> I just, the defender of the Constitution, I'm glad that you had an opportunity to weigh in. <laughs> I'm very much for it. <laughs> Uh, so that's that one. Uh, so I, that does require a formal motion uh, of the commissioners. Uh, so I believe that commissioner, you may need a second. motion. To second. Second. I should say you need a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Carries. All right. And there's uh, one other item that uh, I'd like to add to the agenda. Uh, I know it's it's on a little bit of short notice. However, 
the ADA checklist that was previously um, approved by the commissioners uh, apparently has had a one last little tweak to it, which uh, Mr. Richmond can explain uh, the change from the last draft to the to the current draft. Uh, and I don't believe it's going to be too onerous. So go ahead, Mr. Richmond. Commissioners, after we shared the approved checklist with counsel for the plaintiffs, they wanted to tweak the language. They thought that uh, a little bit better. Now, Mr. Roy, did we pass it out to them? Yes, we did. Okay. You can see it on the second page. It, it's, uh, it wasn't read on the copy. It basically improves the English verbiage direction to the coordinators to make sure that all the appropriate equipment is there to make the entrances acceptable. Is it, is it a yeah. good translation yeah. into the Bengali? Yeah, uh, Commissioner, it's the item that you see with the cross out as well. First page. First, well, first page. page. Oh, first page. Oh, you're yeah. it's first page. That's why you can use the testing. Uh, or now read it. Are materials needed to make the entrance accessible present? And EG instead of IG, the bevel from the doorway. Mm -hmm. So again, that's the the, the, re the one recommendation. If commissioners, if you approve it, then it gets it will be submitted jointly to the court with the recommendation from both the petitioners' council and the board's council that this be approved by the court. So it should be in place prior to training when some of the poll workers will be trained on this in July. So basically, it was changed from is equipment slash materials required to make entrance to. All materials needed to make entrance? Right. Okay. And adding, uh, changing an IE to EG. That was at the request of plaintiff's counsel. Okay. It just doesn't make it, it makes it easier. I have a much better understanding of it now. <laughs> Some lawyer got paid. Yeah. Just, uh, there are some things in here that would call for additional supplies. And so if there's bad weather, for instance, we have to have additional signs to be able to put out. That's something that we have to plan for. And there could be things embedded in here like that that we might have to change on the fly, so to speak. Um, and I just would want to make sure that we have something in our uh, guidelines to be able to anticipate things like that. Just it's a reminder. That's all. Yeah, the, the AD monitors certainly um, have extra supplies uh, along those lines. We also have, uh, you know, the ability to call in and through the tablets uh, to give us notifications on election day. You know, so we can send teams out to deploy them in spots I know, but where we're going to know the day before if there's right. going to be bad weather. So we we should sort of part of the. Uh, our, our policy and guidelines should be to check two days before to see what the weather's going to be, to see whether or not we have to put additional supplies in to the packages, or if, it, if they have five days. But the point, my point is, is that there are things embedded in here that we could plan for so that we don't have to run around all day long delivering extra signs because that's the sort of thing that they're going to write us up on. So it's just something that we have to plan, we have to have the exercise, and we have to get them out in advance. That, that's, that's what I'm saying. Well, I think that the totality of the ADA issue is uh, being taken very, very seriously, uh, not only by the, you know, by the commissioners, but by executive staff, and also the relevant uh, city government partners. We had a meeting uh, this past week, uh, it was, it was, last, was it last Wednesday? Last Wednesday, uh, in this room, and there were over 30 attendees uh, from various affected city agencies. Uh, the Mayor's Office of Operations uh, was represented. Uh, we had a special assistant to the mayor uh, was here. Uh, and we had a, an almost three-hour meeting to discuss all of the issues associated with ADA compliance and it is it's very clear to everyone that the Board of Elections is not by itself on this issue that the other agencies NYCHA, DOE, the Department of Transportation, all of the agencies that actually run uh, these facilities and areas uh, during, uh, during the year um, are not only on notice but they have bought into the fact that ADA compliance is everyone's problem and responsibility to fix. So I, I took that as a positive 
uh, turning of a corner in, in terms of the board no longer having that feeling internally that we're in this alone and that it's going to be all of our responsibility to fix. There is a, a serious recognition on the part of uh, the, the administration and the city agencies that we're partners in this, uh, in the fix, and it's everybody's responsibility. So that's along the lines of, uh, you, you know, the conversation that we had, and we've also spoken with the agencies about, uh, you know, fixing outdated uh, this, the uh, accessibility signs that are under the old symbol, uh, you know, to take those old signs down and replace them with new signs, uh, which would then make some of our temporary signage less important, not, in, you know, not non-existent, but less important, uh, and we do have sometimes a conflict between what's, you know, nailed to the wall, so to speak, versus what's on the fence in front of the place. So it, it, there's a lot of that uh, going on. We certainly take our responsibility very seriously, uh, and, and it's, it's comforting to me, at least, that there is buy-in uh, from, the, from the city agencies that recognize that we're all partners in this, and we collectively have to fix the problem. So, but I appreciate you bringing that to uh, our attention. I have a grammatical question. I see some of them have uh, question marks at the end of it, some of them don't. Is there a reason? I they're, all, they're all a question, they're saying yes or no. Uh, Commissioner, that, I guess, was not picked up either by the Plaintiff's Council or staff either. So, uh, I would think if you would ask us to add that in, I think the I think the point I would like that added in. <laughs> We're appropriate. <laughs> We're appropriate. Um, this business about hanging punctuation, basically, is accommodating the punctuation. So I can amend with that right. friendly amendment. Right. Do I have a motion to accept this change? So moved, Mr. Chair. All in favor? All Aye. opposed? Aye. Carries. Uh, is there anything else before the board? If not, I would like to uh, personnel. Move we adjourn for personnel matters Aye. into executive session. Second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Before we leave, uh, the next scheduled public meeting will be on June 2nd at 1.30. Uh, are we going every two weeks or every one week? Just a question. Next week is a conference. Next week, then. We're at the conference. Oh. So next week is the, uh, the state conference, and Brandon, the following week is testimony. it's our testimony, which we might be back, maybe. Well, we can schedule. Well, I mean, we can, you know, we can, have we, a we can still have a meeting yeah, when we want to. <laughs> sure, uh, it'll be a short we, meeting. We have a bat ball. We can go. <laughs> or we can start later. So let's have the meeting. Yeah, June second is the next. Right. Unless some uh, changes will be notified. Okay. and procedures uh, manual uh, with respect to the poll workers uh, training and uh, assignment of poll workers uh, is as recommended by election center is adopted in its entirety uh, we have two payroll matters a uh, personnel matters with, with some flexibility with, with some flexibility with respect to guidelines there are some guidelines that we have to uh, abide by but those are internal uh, uh, guidelines, not necessarily part of the manual, uh, but uh, in any event, we have uh, two personnel matters. Uh, one is there is 140 hours of discretionary time granted to uh, Cheryl Logan to be utilized between uh, June 5th and July 2nd. Is that Correct. to be paid back or not? To be paid back. To be paid back. Uh, and then uh, Amanda Baranato uh, has been named the director of payroll uh, and her uh, payroll title 
will be uh, project coordinator, but her agency title will be director of payroll, and that will be at a salary of eighty five thousand one hundred and twenty dollars. Okay. That would be. Oh, sorry, I missed that. And now my glasses on. Uh, that's retroactive to March twelfth, two thousand fifteen. Uh, presuming it was March twelfth, the Sunday. Wait, you're oh, it was Thursday. It was the uh, Thursday. Okay. So it'll be retro. We'll make it effective, just for the purposes of ease. Uh, March the fifteenth, if that's okay. All right, March the fifteenth. March. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's it. No. What about? Did that. Oh, okay. Did it. Did that. Right. So, uh, can I have a motion to adjourn? Right. Oh, it's it's to be so 4 o'clock. We move. All in favor? Aye. <laughs> Next meeting, June 2nd.